Ready? Play. It's a beautiful start. 15 left. And you know that Caroline's going to make Petra try and play a lot of shots tonight. That is the whole goal of Wozniacki. How many shots, how many rallies can she get? Let's call it six shots or more. Also, I suspect Caroline will want to play a little faster between points. Keep it going. Oh. I'm sure she's been inspired recently, Caroline Wozniacki, by other mums that have come out of retirement back on the tour. I mean, uh, of course, most recently, Alina Svitolina at Wimbledon making it through to the semis there. Both had their babies at the same time, I think, yeah, it was in October yeah. last year. Yeah, and that was Caroline's second when she yeah. had her baby boy, James, and of course, Alina with her baby girl, Skye. And it was Alina who came back in April. Uh, credit one open in Charleston. I'll tell you, uh, Jennifer Brady has just won. So it will be Jennifer Brady who lies in wait for the winner of this one. So great to see Brady back in the winner's enclosure once again, 23 months away from the tour with the, the knee problems that she's had, surgery. Uh, it's been a long road just for Jen Brady. Knee, foot, yeah. really everything in between and a lot of time off the court really has done tremendously well this summer with very little tennis under her belt the last two years. Oh. Yeah, last time she was here, 2020. Well, she made the semis, of course, losing to Naomi Osaka that year. That's a big return from Kvitova. Advantage, Kvitova. Dragged it. Just Be hitting from Kvitova here Kvitova. early, and this court plays pretty still. It almost plays like an indoor court when the USTA introduced this roof structure. It is open, but it still is pretty enclosed, and that really favors Kvitova. Ball more in her strike zone, very little wind to have to deal with down on the court. Oh. Game. So double fault gives Petra Kvitova the early break in this okay. one. No. 
And Caroline Wozniacki mm -hmm. came back to tennis. One, obviously missed the competitive desire, but two, she believes that she can still win tournaments and be an impact player. There was no way she would come back if she didn't feel yeah. like she could be a factor. Now, it might not be in 2023. Maybe it is, but I think she's shooting really for 2024. spoke to her after her loss in Cincinnati and she was talking about how the reactions it's just coming really fast she's been practicing a lot and she feels good but in matches just everything seems a little fast and that's the one thing that can take a little bit of time to come back how you react after you return how you react after you serve the more matches she plays the longer she's on tour that's all going to come back You know, I remember reading a, an interview with Jeannie Bouchard, actually, after she had 15, such a long time off the court. She said she played her first match. I think she was playing someone ranked like 260 or something. And she was like, it was literally as though I was playing against Serena. Yeah. Like yeah. the ball was exactly. coming that quick yeah. at me. She was like, oh, my God, what's happening here? Stand at net waiting for volleys and you're like almost getting yeah, hit. Yeah. You're like, whoa. Yeah. And when you're playing all the time, it's so natural. Everything just seems almost in slow motion. Oh, it's a bit of a gift. For Kvitova, three unforced errors in the game. And Wozniacki with two break points to immediately get that break back. Yeah, you can see though, just a very gentle breeze going around, as Lindsay was saying, so sheltered inside this huge stadium. Good idea going after the, the Bosniaki forehand, always being the slightly yes. weaker wing of the day. You know, it's just remarkable how Kvitova so far is just totally dictating play. Bosniaki behind the baseline trying to stay in these rallies. She's got to be able to play a little bit of offense. And it's tough against Kvitova, of course, one of the best first strike players. But that's something Bosniaki is going to have to do as this match goes on as she gets used to the pace. Classic Wozniacki point. Just absorbing the pressure. Just. What was the longest time you ever had away from the game, Lindsay? Either through injury or... Yeah, I was off one year, hurt my knee in the very last match of the year in the semifinals of the WTA Championships. Didn't Wasn't able to come back till late July of the next year. So okay. a good seven or eight yeah. months. Then I left to have my son Jagger and I was off the tour. Just about a year. And how long did it take you until you kind of felt properly match fit again? Hmm. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
you know, for everyone, it, advantage. It's, advantage. gosh, it's so incredibly different and challenging. Um, I was, after the birth of my son, I played my first tournament at the three month mark, played very quickly. Right. Um, I didn't play much though, because it's hard traveling with a baby and I wanted to be home much. So I kind of played sporadically, tried to have fun with it. Tough to get to the top when you're yeah. just kind of picking and choosing. Oh. It'd be interesting to see how Caroline manages moving forward, traveling with two kids. It's, you know, it's not easy. <laughs> and she has a lot of help, but it's still, it's a challenge. So Wozniacki breaks straight back. A few gifts thrown in there along the way from Petra Kvitova, certainly early on in that game. One game, one game more, good response percent. from the day. It was amazing, Lindsay. This is the 17th time Petra Kvitova has come here to the US Open, and not once has she made it past the quarterfinals. And uh, not often in the quarters, right? Uh, twice. Yeah. Yeah. 2017, the last time she made the quarterfinals, lost to Serena. 2015 as well, when she lost to Flavia Panetta that year. No. It's beautifully done. It's a good shot for Kvitova to have up her sleeve. She has the ability to force her opponents Love so it. far back behind the baseline with her pace and her power. She can just throw in that drop shot. Can you put your finger on why her record's not that great here? It's interesting. A lot of players, this major is unlike any of the others in terms of the Let's chaotic, kind of crazy nature that it is here. And I think some people are never that comfortable playing here. This court can be pretty tough to get used to. It's a lot of, you can hear it, just ambient yeah. noise. There's a lot of chatter in the crowd. Let's, first of all. It's a bit of a, comes from a small town in the Czech Republic, probably not as comfortable in these big kind of crazy conditions. Let's, first of all. Good stuff from Kvitova, one of the more solid points that she's played so far. Just...
Those are those types uh, of returns that Kvitova has there. got to put into play. Wasn't going to hit a winner on that. Came right at her at 92 miles an hour. And she takes such big cuts instead of maybe playing the score, trying to get into a rally. Let's first off. She now finds herself in front, leading by two games to one. Leads by two games to one. Stats that has Kvitova as the fifth unforced error out of it feels like a lot more. I agree. I think they're being a little generous there because <laughs> there has been a, a lot more missed shots by Kvitova. Spoke about how these two have played 14 times. They also are our neighbors in Monte Carlo. Spent some time practicing there. That one did not miss by much. Caroline spends part of the time down in Miami of the year. Part of the time in Monte Carlo. A little bit of the time in Denmark. They are world <laughs> travelers, that <laughs> Lee family. Thank you. It was amazing. I heard apparently they had no idea that they were going to play each other in the second round. Wozniacki, when they saw each other, I think on Sunday, just before the main draw started, and they like, oh, who are you playing first round? So oh. When's your match? And yeah, they, they said that neither of them had any idea that they would meet so early on. Great stuff from Wozniacki, one of the rare times so far that she's really been able to start dictating things out here. 30, 14. That's exactly what she needs to mix in, the ability to still play offense. And in the first few games, it seemed like she was getting used to the pace of Kvitova, now starting to feel more comfortable and reacting a little bit quicker and taking shots a little bit earlier. So this for three games in a row. Outside edge of the line to save break point.
Yeah, it's always a smart play, just going straight up the middle. More often than not, your opponent's gambling one way or the other. Kibitaba, one of those players that utilizes this one. Kibita, uh, excuse me, Wozniacki knows that. She's going to start to hang her ground a little bit more, hold her ground in the middle, and see what Kibitaba comes up with. Oh, wow, it's an amazing return from Wozniacki. Just... Let's first one. Let's first one. Every game so far Most going to do as it has been. Yeah. Almost 30 minutes of play. And these two battling here. A super second serve from Petra Kvitova. Just now she's mixing up her locations pretty well. I've seen a couple of the forehand there going with the trusted lefty. Bits of a racket. Advantage. She hasn't quite found a rhythm as yet. I agree with you, Lindsay. Eight unforced errors, it says on our stat screen. I think it's a, a little bit higher than that. Absolutely out of this world from Kvitova. How soft were those hands? Just Again, these two know each other so well. And Kvitova anticipated here that this was going to be a forehand angle. It's one thing to anticipate it. Another thing to come up with a volley like that. It was delicate touch there. Great angle. And even Wozniacki can't run that down. <laughs> Oh. 
Yeah, and then she just does that. So difficult uh, to play against. She's, she's got no she's idea done. what's coming next. And Wozniacki prepared for this roller coaster of a match. <laughs> and for sure, Dadder Peter was just hanging there. Just keep trying to weather the storm when Kvitova gets hot, trying to extend all these rallies. Game. All right, somehow finds her way through the game. Petra Kvitova, one of six on break points so far for Caroline Wozniacki. Well, remember, you can download the US Open app, follow your favorite players, track the latest scores, stats, match highlights, player news and more. It's available in both the App Store and the Google Play Store as well. Another one of these patches where Kvitova is on. We're talking about why she might not play her best here. Also, early in her career, she complained about her asthma and her breathing problems. I have not heard her yeah, you're right. say that in a few yeah. years. But she had it in her, her mind, and I'm, I'm sure medically, that she couldn't play well in, in the U.S. hard courts. not aware if that's still an issue no, with Kvitova. Yeah, I've actually just Googled it. Last thing that comes up was just before the 2020 Australian Open. She said she was worried about the air quality in Melbourne as, a, as an asthma sufferer. And that was when the fires were yeah. raging around. She'd be so frustrated to miss that. 15.30, just a 79 mile an hour. Second serve doesn't get Wozniacki to play another ball. Sixth error off the forehand. <laughs> and then she's able to do that. <laughs> 100 mark, getting that in at 101. Another chance, though. Both players have had plenty of opportunities so far. Four break point opportunities for Kvitova, those six I mentioned for Wozniacki. So this time, 
Kvitova breaks through. It's been a bit of an odd 33 minutes in this first set. Much better quality consistently from Kvitova. That's when Wozniacki knows she's got to get a little bit more length, a little bit more depth, get those shots a little bit closer to the baseline. She wants to really either pin Kvitova back or to the sides, not letting her hit from the middle. A couple of titles this year for Petra Kvitova, won the uh, the big Masters 1000 title in Miami. That was back in late March, early April. Came through against Elena Rebekina in that final. Amazing first set tiebreaker that she won 16 points to 14 before coming through a little more comfortably in the second, 6-2. Oh. And then won a title on her favoured grass courts in Berlin just before heading to Wimbledon. She beat Donna Vekic in that final, made it to the fourth round of Wimby. Lost to Onshaber in the end. So won too many matches on the North American hard courts since Wimbledon. Just the one match in Montreal. She beat Camilla Georgie before losing to Bencic. And then again in Cincinnati, just won the one match there beating Anna Blinkova before losing to the, uh, the very young and talented Czech, Linda Noskova. And that's a, a good hold to back up the break. Svitova leads by four games to two, first set. Just outside the world's top 10. At the moment is Kvita at 11 in the world, has been as high as two. I think she still has another slam in her, Lindsay Kvitova. Hmm. A couple of years now since she's really been a huge factor at one. <laughs> Last final she played was back in 2019 when she was a set away from beating Naomi Osaka, getting to number one in the world. Yeah winning another major and of course a major after that horrible attack on her in her apartment. 14. Four, four and a half years is a long time though. Mm. She did get to a semi of one more, the, uh, ironically at the French Open next year. Moved pretty early there. Kvitter, I think, just knew exactly where Wozniacki was going to go with that forehand approach. It really surprises me when you talk about Kvitova in the major. She had a five-year run at Wimbledon. Two wins, a semi, two quarters. And since her last win in 2014, only one time, excuse me, two times, has she gotten to the round of 16, and that's yeah. it. It's amazing. After five really great years there. I remember her title she won in 2014 she was just unplayable that year that's yeah, good stuff from Bosniaki again able to uh, put some pressure on
Uh, she struggled a little bit with those kind of mid-court balls. Kovitova, another one that she's knocked long. Lower for ten. Fifteen uh, oh. It's a rare error from Wozniacki. Don't get a lot of those types of free points from her. Thank you. It's a first double. Another break 13, point for Wozniacki. Just one for six so far today. presented itself with that backhand up the line and Wozniacki took it and we are back on serve again twice in this opening set Kvitova is led by a break and twice Caroline Wozniacki has broken back four games all let's see how Kvitova responds here little less energetic than Wozniacki out here in the first set. Oh, well, that's some response. And now we have a that's where that service speed, it's got to go up a little bit from Wozniacki. Second serves are in the 70s. In the very edge of the line with that one. And nothing no, ever seems no, to really phase Kvitova. Yeah. And a lot of players, we serve in 
She was up 4-2, serving 4-3, up 30-15, double fault, couple errors, and she just comes right back. Mm -hmm. Fifteen thirteen. Thirteen. Missed the volley this time. Set the point up beautifully. 14. Has been feeling it there. It's just wide. Uh, and Caroline Wozniacki moves to within a game of taking this opening set. David Lee pretty happy with what he's seeing right Bosnia now. Kvitova will have to hold serve to stay in it at 4 5. That's a good start. 15 level. Helped by landing that first serve. I'd like to just up that first serve percentage a little bit, just above 50% first serves in at the moment. Oh, smart from Bosniaki going up. Over the backhand side there of Kvitova, one of the hardest shots in tennis. 15, uh, oh. Caroline going for the two shot pass here, setting herself up again. Very good thinker out on court and knows right now she wants to spread the court, get Kvitova to have to reach for her shots. Oh. What kind of first serve percentage were you striving for, Lindsay? Anything kind of six, mid 60s ish? Yep, and, and always looked on first serve points one. Yeah. A lot of, and obviously, second serve points one is so important, but see the effectiveness of your serve. My game revolved much more around my serve than. That's a great serve there. Then certainly Wozniacki's a bit of a the same. She's winning 60% of her first serve points. Love to see that more like in the mid 60s, yeah. about 70. That's really what you want to go for, especially on, on a relatively quick hard court. Yeah. Wow, that's a good game yeah. after losing a couple in a row there. Five games Feel as though the courts are a little slower this year. A few That's people have mentioned yep. it. They were playing pretty quick last year. Apparently, they have slowed down a little bit. Still think they're on the medium to fast, but more on the medium than, than on the slow court. Indian Wells, one of the slower yeah. hard courts out there. Definitely playing a bit faster than that. Oh!
Well, it all started with a quality return of serve from Kvitova that nearly knocked Wozniacki back off her feet. What a time to find the ace. Yeah, a couple of free points here on her serve, absolutely huge. Five all was 15-30. Oh, game point to go up 6-5. Oh, back to back for Caroline Wozniacki. May not have thought that she'd be out acing. Just a little too much height on the drop shot from Osniaki. Gave Kvitova plenty of time 15, to uh, chase no. this one down. Struggle with that shot with the forehand today, Kvitova. Made sure of that one with the backhand. Yeah, feel as though the quality is just rising here from Petra Kvitova. Uh, she's really had her success from the side of the court she's on right 30, now. 30. Has struggled more on the other side of the court and suddenly it seems like found her range again. Two points away here from the opening set. Oh. 
Martin Fuchin. Oh, here we go. Just a couple of minutes past the hour mark. Wozniacki has set points. That's just so good from Kvita under pressure. Yeah, Wozniacki doing everything she could to yes. hang in that rally. Trying to use her foot speed here, but Kvitova all of a sudden a little bit more cover, a little bit more topspin, and chose the right side there. Kvitova going to the drop shot. Yeah, it was the uh, well one of the fastest players well out there. And Kvitova thought she had pushed her back far enough. But again, a little too high and against too fast of an opponent. that Caroline Wozniacki has won here in New York since the 30th of August 2019. 7-5 on Petra Kvitova. So Wozniacki to start us off in the second. And it's some start. 15 left. Anything you'd like to see different from Kvitova in this set, Lindsay? Uh, you know, Kvitova, how she's going to play and her way of going about it. You'd just love to see her add just maybe 10% more margin. Yeah. Just a little bit more safety on some of those shots. There's certain times in a match, and especially in a close first set, where you've got to make your opponent play. Got to put in a good quality, solid return. Doesn't have to be a clean winner. A couple of missed shots there in the first set cost it for her. Wozniacki hitting her spots. Nearly 70% first serve points one right now. 22 of 32. That's a good start. Good positive start to set two. Always nice to be serving first. First game, second. Can just Fifteen uh, love. Oh, 
That's good serving from Kvitova. Just took a little bit of the pace off. Only 91 miles an hour, but that trusty slider out wide. There's Wozniacki there trying to give Kvitova different paces, different, a different strike zone on shots, try and get her out of her rhythm. I like that play, especially given the score line 14, for Caroline 15. to just take a rip at a second serve return. Just makes it look so simple at times. Wozniacki, good combination, and comes through her opening one game. Ball. Second set. It highlights the quality of Czech tennis, doesn't it? That Petra Kvita is 11 in the world, and yet she's the third highest ranked Czech player in the WTA rankings. Of course, the Wimbledon champion, Marketa von Druseva, at nine in the world. The Roland Garros runner-up, Karolina Mukova, at 10 in the world. 30 for 10. Eight players inside the world's top 50. Nine inside the world's top 100. Forty for ten. Don't know what they feed them in that part of the world, but they just keep on producing them, don't they? Yeah, it's amazing. I read something of Pliskova. If the Olympics were had been held this summer, she's in the 20s. She would not have yeah. been on the Olympic team. Yeah, 25 in the world. Yeah. Wozniacki very calmly dealt with that bounce smash as well. In the opening set, none so far. First three games of set two. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, wow. And that backhand has always been so no, strong, no, hasn't it, for Wozniacki? Now, the biggest weapon in Wozniacki's game, with combined with her movement around court, but so much confidence on that wing to change direction, to step in, to finish points. Oh. Serve there. Fitting. More natural serve for Kvitova is that slice to the backhand, but taking some chances tonight and going to the forehand with her second serve. Fourteen, thirteen. Just looked completely unfazed as Kvitova so far. She's been anywhere near her best, but we've seen very little reaction, emotion from her. Not getting too down on herself when she makes the errors. There's another one, that's a big one. That's one thing about Wozniak, you know she's not going to go away. 40-15 up in a service game, Caroline has that belief she can still come back and break. Look at that, 16 unforced errors off the forehand, just one so far for Wozniacki. Just a second double fault. Uh, Gives Caroline Wozniacki first look at a break point in this set. So much for him so far. Oh, Caroline was there. Just. Please. Advantage, Kivitova. Just skidded off the Kivitova. back edge of the baseline there. 
So half a chance Newbles goes pace. begging for Caroline Wozniacki. Had that look at the break point, but Kvitova comes so through. Two games second set. Well, usopen.org is your online home for point-by-point -point live scoring highlights, real-time stats and draws. You can visit the official tournament site at usopen.org. Wing starting to 15, get uh, 11. more winners as well. He's really picking her spots on that first serve as well. Nine of ten points, one behind it in this set. Another good one. 13, 11. Barely missing that first serve as well. Yeah, I only missed two. It's pretty inevitable that Wozniacki was going to play some kind of sport. Mum played volleyball for Poland. Dad was a professional footballer. Amazing how many players have some kind of connection in terms of their parents, grandparents, whatever it might be, that played sport at a professional level. It's a great hole, just completely untroubled on serve so far Wozniacki in the second set. Wozniacki of this game. She's just increasing here on the number 11 seed. Fifteen level. A lot of people would get maybe overawed playing someone like a Petra Kvitova. They know that can hit them off the court at will when she's on, but certainly not Wozniacki. She almost relishes it, I think. She's so good at counter-punching her movement, just using and absorbing her opponent's pace. That's beautifully done. That's a nice change up there, and, and a, maybe a better time to hit it early in the game. No. Went for one late in the first set, very crucial moment, and didn't quite have the feel. to the uh, 13, tally. 15. Sixth backhand winner of the match for Caroline. Oh. 
she's on top. Yeah, there's no doubt. Caroline Bosniaki, she's just got to try and make hay whilst the sun shines. And she had that break point in the last service game of Kvitova. Came back from 1540. This game back from Love 30. See her. She was dragged so far wide off court, but she still found amazing length with that backhand. Bosniaki and it is Bosniaki who two, breaks second. first and is two games away from round three. Fifteen How well is she served in yeah. this set? It's amazing the difference between the first and second set. Oh. Just getting better and better out here is Wozniaki. Seemingly 13, charging 11. towards the finishing line. Uh, the first set, she was winning about 60% of her first serve points. That has gone up into, by the way, 93. <laughs> <laughs> it's just incredible. Yeah, 13 of 14. Oh. 13 for 10. Right on cue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be her first top 20 win since she's made her comeback. First top 20 win, actually, since she beat Petra Kvitova at the WTA Tour Finals back in 2018 in Singapore. Okay. That's what she can do, though. In a Third flash, team. this set could turn around if Kvitova catches fire. It's just not playing with the same amount of energy we've seen from Kvitova. Haven't heard the trademark check phrase poached <laughs> once. Haven't seen <laughs> a lot of fist pumps. Haven't seen a lot of positive energy coming from Kvitova this whole match. She was up 4-2 in the first. Same thing. It's a great return from Petra Kvitova. Three points in a row. First break point in this set. from Petra Kvitova. That is so frustrating for Wozniacki. Dirty love up. She's three. broken straight Second back and we're on serve again. At the start of this match, you would have probably snapped your hand off for it. She's found another. Just beginning to purr here, Kvitova. Yes. 
Uh, that snaps the streak of seven, six straight 30, points for Kvitova. Just like that, Kvitova has found her rhythm and still hitting her shots, but found the range. It looked like she was closer to the exit. Yeah. It was like a completely different player on the court the last two games. Four games all. Kvitova has leveled things up. Four games all. Well, it was Kvitova who was up 4-2 in the first set when Wozniak was able to turn the tide and come back and win. Let's see what Kvitova can do here. What a role she's just got on. Are they going? Thank you. Oh. Well, she just can't miss right now, commit to it. Wozniacki. Please. It's that time of night where I think a lot of people inside Arthur Ashe are slightly well lubricated. <laughs> Another race. Five aces in the match for Wozniacki. Still only the two for Kvitova. First errors we've seen in a long time from Kvitova. Okay, 
important hold for Wozniacki, just stops the rock. A little short with the first no, forehand, no, Mosniak no, no, no. keeper it. back to neutral in the point with the backhand. I always feel as though that first point is so crucial in a game like this. Oh, where on earth does that come from? Is that the first serve rally uh, today? Just going to ask you. Right. I'm sure that's the first one. 5, 7, 4, 5, 4, 15. <laughs> Why not? Actually dealt with that really well, Kvitova. Having to pick that one up on the half volley. Not easy. Third double, second in this set, two points away here, Wozniacki. I wasn't expecting her to miss that. All that favorite backhand way. Please. It's long. Advantage uh, of The pass for Wozniacki. Just one match point saved. Goodness. 
How on earth has she found a winner from there? Advantage uh, Wozniaki. Oh, looked like he was almost behind her. Match point number two. Thank you. Oh. Please. She'll be feeling it, Wozniacki, there's no doubt. Again, a return that she'd expect to make on that favoured wing. Some forehands, Wozniacki just having a uh, bit of a glare uh, down at the line. Again, just no reaction at all from Kavita as she comes through that point. Petra Kvitova, two match points Four saved. Games on. Yuri Vanek up on his feet. Second set. Again, Kvitova quiet as a mouse. How does Wozniacki respond here? 15, uh, a couple uh, of match points, one missed backhand return off the second. First match point, Kvitova played it well, ended up with a volley winner, but it is so tough to keep on going. Once you oh. feel like you could have been or should have been in the locker room by now. It's like it's nothing, Wozniacki. It was a huge return from Kvitova. To Caroline Wozniak, it would have been so easy there, as Lindsay was mentioning. To
She had a good look there, actually, Rosniaki. A bit of has done a nice job in this nine. set of winning the net points. Now 9 of 12 in this set. 16 and 25 for the match. Calmly done. Great defensive gets to try and stay in that point. Again, now it's Kvitova with great service game. Back to back, Kvitova. holds to love, one for Bosniaki, one for Kvitova. And with two hours exactly on the clock, Six a tiebreaker required set. to separate Five. them in set two. First serve going to be huge for both players. Again, Wozniacki serving so well in this set. Winning 90% of those first serve points. Oh, pretty big Two with that one. second serve, Kvitova. So first mini break goes the way of Wozniacki. Each other 14 times previously of these two. They've only actually only ever played two tiebreakers in their career. Just have absolutely no right to win that point. Did Caroline Bosniaki rolling back the years here? Three, one. Amazing court Wozniak. coverage from Wozniacki this entire rally until Kvitova just has to overhit here. And you're right, that is vintage Wozniacki there.
gets the cheap point. Perfect start to the breaker for the Dane. Three points away. Four, one. Four, two. She barely hit any aces today, Kavitova. That's that actually her first in this set. Three in total. Needed that point just to stay in touch here. Rock solid from Wozniacki. Just trying to calm Four, herself down here. Two. Big deep and breath at the end of that point. See Kvitova just stay in that corner. Five, uh, three. It was not good. Anywhere in the other side of the court, the point was hers. Things have just got Five, very four. interesting. Just a ball toss as well in this tiebreaker, Wozniak. You haven't really seen her struggle with the ball toss all night, and then three times in this breaker, she's had to abort that ball toss on serve. Second double in this breaker Six, for Petra four. Kvitova. She's already saved two nothing. match points. She's going to have to try and save two more. Six, five, was nothing. The fairy tale in New York continues for Caroline Wozniacki. She gets the better of her good friend Petra Kvitova in straight sets and books her spot in round three for the first time 
since 2019.